What we have here is a microwave oven from the USA. We are going to show you the difference between when it operates on 60 Hz and 50 Hz. First, we'll provide 120 volts and 60 Hz electricity to the microwave oven. Let's turn it on. The microwave oven is now operating normally. This is a high power appliance that requires 1500 watts to run. This shows that the power exchanger voltage and frequency converter can handle such a high power demanding device with ease. It keeps the output voltage steady at 120 volts and 60 hertz. Now we connect the microwave oven to the 50 hertz electricity. We'll use a generator to create the 230 volt 50 hertz electricity. Then we connect the generator to a regular step down transformer that are available online for cheap. This allows us to have a 119 volt 50 hertz electricity for this test. Let's power up the microwave oven. As you can hear there are loud noise vibrations coming from the microwave oven's outer case. The internal parts of the microwave oven are vibrating violently due to 50 hertz input power. The voltage reduces to 110 volt 2. This is the problem of using a regular step down transformer. A step-down transformer can only lower the voltage. It cannot change the electrical frequency. That's why the microwave oven cannot operate normally and more likely to get damaged. Microwave ovens have high voltage components inside and utilize an internal transformer to raise the voltage high enough for the microwave oven components to operate. But the internal transformer is designed to run under 60 Hz electricity, so it cannot run normally under a 50 Hz power source. That's why it creates so much vibration inside and outside of the microwave oven. Besides the unstable voltage output problem, the step-down transformer cannot convert the frequency. It causes the transformer inside the microwave oven to consume more current than it should and damages the components. That's why you need a voltage and frequency converter to run USA appliances overseas.